morning, folks. Marcus here from the Ashland Fly Shop. I was just getting rigged up to go step into a run here, and the very top of my sink tip, if you can see it, is really bit into. You can see the core of the sink tip in there, and I just had a customer in the shop that this happened to last week and wanted to talk about some of the things that I think about um, in preventing that or working around it. A pretty easy way to work around it that I've done in the past is when one of the loops of my sink tip gets bit into by my leader, I just switch the loops. Um, so I put that loop that has the kind of bite marks in it from the leader on the Skagit line side of things. And then I use that fresh loop towards my leader end of things. But as far as preventing it, there's a knot that my friend John showed me um, that I think is really worth knowing. Um, and any variation of a knot like this where, where we're using two loops is, is a pretty nice thing to have for this sink tip fishing. And I've started using it exclusively. And all you gotta do is you pull out about five or six inches more than you're used to pulling out. Um, so if you're used to doing a triple surgeons or a perfection loop, you're only using about you know five inches of material. Here we're gonna pull out an extra five inches of material and just bend it back on itself. So you've got a really big open loop that's about five inches long or so. And then I grab those two and bend them back again. And you just wanna make sure you can kinda have this, this loop where they're connected back in your hands. Just pull it so you're right at the end of that material. Straighten it all out. Create another loop. So you've got kinda your excess material off to the left side and your, your double loop over here. And you're gonna bring that double loop through your bigger loop three times. So you've got what we call a double triple surgeons. And you just start to pull everything tight. And usually at this point when everything's loose but starting to cinch in on itself, I just get it a little bit wet and I slip my finger through the two loops that will go to the sink tip and the loop of excess material along with pulling on this little tag end. And if you get each of these cinched up in the right way, you're left with two loops coming out the front, your line dangling out the bottom, and then we'll just grab all this excess, clip it all away. So you're left with two loops and a relatively straight knot and that will go right over your sink tip like you had before. And the theory with this knot, I don't find it to be any less strong than a standard triple surgeons um, and up there with a perfection loop, but the theory about it is is that you've got two loops coming coming through there. And so every time when you're fishing, if you get snagged up, every single time that you get snagged up, you're putting half of the tension on this material here that's on the sink tip because you're splitting it in half with those two loops, fighting big fish or you know pulling off snags. You're just going to allow this sink tip connection point to last a lot longer over time. So that's a little fishing tip that I've learned over the years and, and use every time I'm out on the water fishing sink tips. Thanks for tuning in.